Oh wait, no, that wasn't good enough. Sit right over there. I'm gonna go again. Act shocked again. Just sit there. Did you shit yourself? Be honest. You absolutely did. Do not lie to me. I can see it through the screen that your heart fell into your ass. Now, what we're here to talk about today is the Mr. Beast hit getting hit with another allegation. If I have a penny for every time Mr. Beast gets hit with an allegation, I would look like Channing Tatum. Because of all the money that I'll have, I'll do an eye surgery because me and Channing Tatum, the only thing we have different is our eye color. S s same same this time rosanna and dog pack 404 mr b's besties we talked about them before on this channel as well uh they love each other so much that they love exposing each other it's that kind of a friendship they came forward with a video titling that mr beast knew all along what did he knew all along mr ava's past behavior the shit that he got exposed a couple months ago we went over it it was at the beginning of the whole exposations of the 5,000 allegations that was coming Towards him were Mr. Ava and that artist Shadman who drew underage female characters or male characters sexualizing these characters and Mr. Ava was jumping up and down. Do this character! Do Ben 10! I want to see Ben 10's Kukumba! Was just jumping up and down with these disgusting behaviors and then um lava situation happened where there was this 13 year old discord mod i believe where jimmy mr ava lava and a couple other underage uh, guys as well who were just chilling together and mr ava was talking about mr beast how big his cucumba is in front of all the children they were sending each other how can i say this anime underage melons jumping up and down and every day mr ava when he was 20 21 years old he couldn't wait to come back home so he can send his uh underage discord mods some big anime melons mr ava got shocked with the expositions he came forward he made a apology video saying that it was all a joke but you guys taking it by heart we're not gonna go back and talk about it i've said all i wanted to say and then mr beast came out and said disgusting unbelievable i have no part of this i do not condone this a behavior yes i lived with mr ava but throughout the period i was living in that same house i was actually legally blind so i couldn't see anything that's why i know nothing about the everything that is being accused towards them i know not i know nothing and rosanna just came forward <laughs> shut up you donkey you knew it all along and then dog pack was backing you up but it kind of backfired to Rosanna and Dog Park, which we're going to go through it later on in the video. What we're going to go through now is the new allegations that is going coming towards Mr. Beast. The proof that Jimmy knew about Tyson's behavior is right here. So Ava Tyson sends a photo of a young looking girl in a sheer top. Ivanka Trump when she was 13. <gasps> How the hell could Jimmy say he doesn't know about his best friend when he's posting this in the chat with him? Now, according to Rosanna, she received chat logs and conversations between Mr. Ava and Mr. Beast throughout 20 and 2021, where she says that it was a work telegram group, but it turned out to be a full freaky diddy whatsapp group new update i have received thousands of leaked messages from an official mr beast work chat these are all just their work chats from 2020 to about 2021 on telegram i verify the legitimacy of these chats with multiple former employees and let me tell you they are absolutely insane i've done my best to censor the messages for you in this youtube video but i just want you to know that the actual chats are uncensored and i just wanted to give you guys a warning also, I want to give you a quick trigger warning. Some of these messages touch on sensitive topics like SA, anti-Semitism, incest, and one message even allegedly contains a sexually explicit photo of a 13-year-old child. Again, this is a work chat. I'll be releasing many of these chat messages as I sort through them over the next few weeks, but today I'm just going to focus on showing that Mr. Beast was very aware of Ava Tyson's online behavior and even encouraged and engaged in extremely inappropriate behavior himself. Okay, but before we get to that, <laughs> I want to show you that John Smith in mm -hmm. these chat logs is Mr. Beast. We've had this confirmed by multiple former employees. He mm -hmm. changed his name on Telegram at some point after. I'll just show some messages to show that John Smith is Jimmy. Here He's saying he got exposed after Keemstar called him a simp on Twitter. Here, he gets tagged as Jimmy by someone else. Of course I knew that. Every time I text Keem about drama, he tells me to f off and that he's known for 23 hours. Here's another 
Mr. Beast chat where John Smith is asked what his Discord name is and he says Mr. Beast. Then again, Ava Tyson tags Jimmy with a video showing a Tesla Model X Plaid and then Jimmy who drives, or John Smith, sorry. One and the same. It's John like, Smith what? said that wasn't me, haha. -ha. Jimmy also drives a Tesla Model X Plaid. It's clearly Jimmy. And then again, John Smith posting a selfie of Jimmy because he is Jimmy. So now we know Jimmy was displaying himself as John Smith. And it's very important what Rosanna said in a clip saying that you know, we're going to be showcasing it censored, but the uncensored ones are all available because we're going to come back to it later on because of the backlash that they're receiving. It's all clusterfuck. This is the first image they're going to go through where Mr. Ava sent Mr. Beast a picture of Ivana Trump. I believe it's Donald Trump's daughter and said, bro, look at her. This is her when she was... 13 years old with her melons out. So Ava Tyson sends a photo of a young looking girl in a sheer top. Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Yeah, and the message reads, so this photo is allegedly of Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Ava thought that this was possibly a 13 year old and she's posting it in a work chat. Why would you ever send somebody a picture of a 13 year old topless? A lot of people on the internet are labeling this picture as Ivanka Trump. I can't find any definitive proof that it is, but- That it, looks like her. It does look like her. But like, yeah, it looks bad. And I can't confirm or deny if it is. I mean, it seems plausible to me, but either way, like having Ava Tyson saying, oh, this photo is allegedly Ivanka Trump when she's 13 and it's clearly sexually explicit. You can, you know, she's wearing a see-through top. That's insane. That is wildly inappropriate mm -hmm. and, and just insane for a company Chat. So now, according to the messages which were verified by multiple Mr. Beast staff, according to Rosanna, Chris sent Mr. Beast a picture of Ivana Trump when she was allegedly 13, according to Chris himself, according to Mr. Ava himself, saying that, bro, I think this is Ivana when she was 13 years old and she's topless. Now, this is not like when Drake got leaked, you send his Kukumba picture, uh, you know, him shaking it on his private jet to the WhatsApp group and have a laugh about it and make a WhatsApp sticker out of it. It's not. But if a friend of mine sends a picture of, I don't know, Denzel Washington when he was 13 years old with his butt cheeks out, that friend is getting shatalked with a block. Any logistic person, anyone with that one brain cell knows that this is wrong. Anyone underage, sure. Any celebrity above the age of 18 gets exposed. You can share the pictures, have a laugh about it, make jokes about it, it's fine. But when it comes to underage, no matter who it is, it is never okay, no matter how dark humor your WhatsApp Telegram group is. Images of CP are not protected under First Amendment rights and are illegal contraband under federal law. The United States Code defines CP as any visual depiction of sexually explicit conduct involving a minor there's someone under 18. Visual depictions include photographs. Mm -hmm. Notably, the legal definition of sexually explicit conduct does not require that an image depict a child engaging in a sexual activity. A picture of a naked child may constitute illegal CP if it is sufficiently suggestive. That image was suggestive. Yeah, in my best judgment, mm -hmm. if this is a 13 year old, as Ava alleges, uh, I would say that this constitutes a CP, in my yeah, opinion. agreed. Let's see if Jimmy knew about Ava's uh, concerning behavior. Again, sexually explicit meme about Violet from <gasps> no! The Incredibles. Oh no! He also engaged with a, a meme on Twitter of Violet throwing her backpack and he responded, low-key she cute. And a reminder, Violet is a fictional character that's 14 years old. What is the meme? Do you get it? I don't get it. So, so it's imagining it's... a 14 year old with nipple piercings and a butt plug. Posted by Ava. I didn't know she was 12. Tell it to the judge, bub. It's a Roblox meme. Here's another one from Animal Crossing. You've got something Me. really big in your pocket. Hurry up and show it to me. <gasps> That's a ton of Nazi symbols. Here's a message from Jimmy himself. I guess it's a meme of a fake video saying, I filled my brother's house with gum and bought him a new one. Oh, gross. Hey, at least we're not talking about children for once. There's another good one. Sex offenders, sex midfielders, Childers. and sex defenders. And a sex goalie. National pegging day. And then this guy Bailey, who was an editor at Mr. Beast said, uh, Jackson said he used to peg kids in summer camp. <gasps> And then Ava pinned that message. Top priority professional work chat happening here. Yeah. It's a little kid. Mm -hmm. I'm in class right now and you made me. So as you can see, it was a meme page according to them, sending each other very, very 
dark stuff allegedly because I haven't seen that it is being proven. I'm just believing Rosanna's word right now. So it is all still alleged to me. But after Mr. Ava came clean and made a confession, the chances of this being true is very very high so according to the chat logs they were all in it together sending these type of memes to each other now the child fictional characters are pretty dark do they deserve to be slapped for it absolutely yes do they deserve to be shut off with cancellation absolutely yes the way it seems mr ava and mr beast just bunch of weird kids in a whatsapp group telegram group sending each other this kind of messed up stuff now what gets super super dark and super super extra super serious is the non-fictional characters where you know Ivana, Ivana Trump. Now like I said Dogpack updated this whole thing after the videos saying that it was from April 2000 British GQ magazine photo shoot. Surprisingly it is actually her and she was 18 at the time. But just the idea of Mr. Evo saying Beast Boy, Beast Boy, John Smith, look what I found. I think this is um Ivana Trump when she was 13. Look at her. She's topless. Bunch of weirdos that needs to be slapped if they were seen in public. Now, after Rosanna posted the video, she also tweeted that I have reported what I found and my concerns to the authorities, tagging FBI. Hopefully, they will look into these Mr. Beast Telegram company chat logs and other concerns. And this is the part where Rosanna and Dogpack started getting backlash. People started coming out and saying, well, this is, you know, you reported this as CP. You showed us the censored version, but you saw the uncensored version. So that makes you a criminal as well for seeing that CP. Don donkeys. People commenting things as, oh, do people need to check Dog Pack's hard drive. He's one of them. He's been to Diddy Party. Dog Pack is a PDF file for looking at those photos. And this is what Dog Pack responded. Just to clarify, the claim that Ro and I reacted to uncensored CP is a blah blah lie. And if you pay attention at the beginning of the video, Rosanna said that we're going to be showing you the censored one. Trigger warning but we are going to be seeing the uncensored ones. I've done my best to censor the messages for you in this YouTube video, but I just want you to know that the actual chats are uncensored. I don't know why Dogpack decided to come and say, oh, it was a lie. It was all censored in the first place. The second we got it, we don't know how the uncensored looks like even. Now, if you come across some information, let's say, images of during war let's say and you want to journal on it you want to tell the story on it you're going to have to see some disgusting pictures you're gonna have to go through it you have to get the whole context the whole story you have to verify shit i think it is fine if you go through them for the purpose of journal but people twisted it and i don't know why dog pack decided to come and say oh it was censored from before i don't know what you guys are talking about we reacted to it while it was already censored he continued saying i have the original screen recording of what exactly i showed uh, rosanna every picture was sufficiently censored thus cons you know it was not cp at all not gonna lie this whole thing makes him look guilty I downloaded the work chats and deleted the uncensored version as soon as I believed they could be illegal. Neither Ro or her editor ever saw the uncensored pictures. He said that he never saved the pictures and he never distributed the uncensored pictures accidentally or knowingly as well. He's also happy to invite the FBI to check his hard drive. He also continued saying in the video, he mentioned it multiple times, that the only way they went to the whole CP part is because of Mr. Ava saying the fact that, oh, this person was 13 years old and he couldn't verify it anywhere else. And in his defense, he was very clear about it, that if it actually turned out to be true, this needs to be investigated by the authorities. In my best judgment, mm. if this is a 13 year old, as Ava alleges, uh, I would say that this constitutes a CP, in my yeah, opinion. Agreed. I think Rosanna should have gave Doc Pack a call. Hey, I'm about to report it to authorities, even though we haven't verified the age. I'm pretty sure Doc Pack would have come forward and said, no, Donkey, we don't know yet. Please don't post it to authorities. Don't say anything yet until we verify it. But they messed up. So people are mad the fact that Doc Pack didn't verify the age, just believed Mr. Ava's word for saying, allegedly, that this person is a 13-year-old Ivana Trump. And they're also mad at Rosanna for reporting it to the FBI without verifying that if that picture was a 13 year old or the 18 year old the other backlash they're getting is their a b testing on their youtube th thumbnail where they put three options and the options saying he knew she's 13 and posting the picture of it being uncensored and them censoring it 
which means they had the uncensored version all along. The whole situation is a full clusterfuck. They try to go after Mr. Beast. They kind of did a little bit too much and they started getting backlash towards them. Jimmy is literally Dan TDMing this whole shit, just not talking, staying back and watching everyone just go at each other. Jimmy is 100% out of hair right now after the whole few months of him getting exposed. One allegation after other allegation. Hair ran out 100%. He has a wig right now. After this latest allegation that was coming towards him, he finished his eyebrows and armpits and he's going to his ass hair, trying to pull it out from all the stress and expositions. And it just kind of backfired on the Rosanna and Doc pack. So it's chilling for a while. I honestly don't think there's going to be a, a response video as Jimmy promised everyone. It's either he's not fully exposed yet. He's like, what are these rookie things you found about me? There's so much other shit, the horrible shit that I've did. I know I'm waiting for those to come out first. Is either that or he just changed his mind and he's not going to be making a response video. Honestly, people like him get away with these things on daily basis a lot of drama happened on the internet well over the past couple of months a lot of people started to forget about this whole situation i believe it is still wrong and he needs to answer it at least address it talk about it we want to hear your side but he's not going to be doing it he's gonna let it lie down and he's going to be going back to today we are a cutie 1000 virgins you get a prostitute you get a prostitute you get a pro he's gonna go back to doing the same shit with his uh videos and that's just the end of that anyways just wanted to update you with this whole drama just put everything in one video and uh share it with you as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below like it subscribe it if you're new here thank you for watching take it easy i will see you at the next one